Hey guys, I'm Patty Sound with Fitness by Patty, and today I want to share with you a quick three exercise circuit to help you tone your triceps. Now, oddly enough, this is one of the most frequent complaints I hear, especially from women. Um, this is a problem because if you're not fitting into your dresses, shirts, or tank tops the way that you like, um, or if you're waving, you feel a floppy arm syndrome, I hear it all the time. Um, and maybe you're exercising now, or possibly you're just doing a little cardio. So if you're running or doing something like that, um, there's a void and we need to fill it. There's no strength training. So we're gonna give you some resistance exercises now in order to help you tone those triceps and get you feeling right um, and looking at it the way that you want. All right, so let's get started. The first one is just a tricep dip. You're just gonna need a chair, or you can do this off the side of a bench or couch or whatever you have that's kind of stable. All right, so right off the edge, we're gonna pull your hips off and hold up your body with just your arms. Okay, you want your spine nice and long. Look ahead so you're not gonna drop your head down. Look straight ahead, you wanna pull the elbows in and drop the hips down, breathe in, press straight up, breathe out. You also wanna pull the belly in. Now commonly I see once you start to get tired or maybe you're just getting started, the elbows blow out, you don't want that to happen because you could potentially have some shoulder issues there. So draw the elbows in, we're targeting the triceps. And another thing that I see is that your, your body sinks in and then your shoulders eat your neck. So we want to <laughs> take the neck long and make sure that that's its own neck. <laughs> Inhale down, exhale up. So I got 15 to 20 repetitions. Then the next exercise, so it's going to be an easy tricep extension or a tricep push up from the floor. And I'm going to demonstrate on my knees. It's a little difficult on your toes, but let's work up to that eventually. All right, so the setup is hands under shoulders, fingers are wide, and you're going to wrap your elbows in toward the body. And you're hovering your chest over the fingers, lowering down slowly, inhale, exhale, press up. Inhale down, exhale up. Another common issue that I see here is when you go down, the elbows go out, and again, those shoulders shrug up, so you want to keep the neck long, look straight ahead, inhale down and exhale up. You don't have to go as low. If you can't, just start out here, real slow, but pull the elbows back toward the rib cage. All right? And then the last exercise, of course, again, 15 to 20 repetitions. If you can, I just like that number. This one's gonna be with, I just have some small five pound weights. Let's take a split stance. Take those arms over the head. We're gonna put the elbows point forward, drop those weights behind the head, and then straight up and squeeze the arms. Inhale down, exhale up. From the side, looks like this. Now, I like using separate weights, but you can also use a ball uh, or one large weight, however you feel more comfortable. Um, but make sure that the elbows are pointed back and you're getting a nice deep 90 degree bend and then a straight press up. All right, so those three exercises in the circuit, 15 to 20 repetitions each, two to three rounds. And if, you, um, if you're having a little issue with finding the right workouts to do or Sequencing, remember it's the results for transformation. It's not just about a single exercise. It's gonna be the sequence of exercises. So I have a great program that you can follow. It's online. Uh, check out fitnessbypatty.com and see the online programs there. I also have a nutrition guide and a cookbook to go along with it. So give it a shot, check it out. Um, thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you, please give it a share with your family and friends. I'll see you next time.